I may have a personal announcement here in a, in a little bit. Maybe I'll show that. Or maybe I'll just edit that out if I didn't do it. So anyway, there has been bike races going on all day long, different classes, um, you know, different by age groups of, of bikers. I think yesterday was the time trials. So there's a number of, uh, you know, teams that have their different tents here and matching shirts and all that. Uh, but I think the race day is kind of wrapping up. There's still some people out. And they have some food vendors up here. Hmm. Now, this is pretty much just the opposite of the last campground we was at, where we had the whole place to ourselves. We came to this campground, and it's really a nice campground. We just happened to come on a, uh, on a weekend that had a, this, you know, race event. So it's really packed, a lot of, a lot of racers. It's, I had no idea. Uh, and I think that this uh, area, this town, this campground, I think they host uh, uh, several races every year. But today's pack up day too for a lot of people. I think we're all putting things away and pulling out. Lemonade, fries, devil dogs. Devil dogs. The barbecue stand and um, up there at the end is a New Orleans inspired food. Melchie's Cajun. Yeah, it's been a really busy place. So the attraction that brought me to this place to begin with is just down over the hill here. I've mentioned it. We should probably take a ride down there. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, I did pay for another night and it's, uh, you know, $22 and some change per night. So, yeah, that's a full hookups. Another very, very reasonable campground. I'm not even sure if I mentioned where were we were at, but uh, we're at the city of Gads Gadsden, and this is uh, known as the Black Creek Trail. And what is that, the Nakalula Falls Park campground? And the, uh, the falls are right down there. Let's see if we can't uh, get over there and check those out. Just thought we'd stop up here on the bridge for a minute. You would not want to go over that. No, in a boat, inner tube, kayak, canoe. <laughs> you, you would not want to go over that, and you'll see why here in a second. All right, here's one view. There was a bridge right back up there. There's one of you. It's, it's uh, a lot of ways down over there. Gotta love waterfalls. So much power. Yet somehow they just seem calming and, and serene or something. Oh, there's people down in there. There's a, there's a walkway to go down there or something. Hmm. I wonder if I can figure out how to get down there. Uh, I don't have to leave my bike unattended. I'll bet. I have no idea how those people got down there. I thought somewhere there'd be steps coming down the hill back here or over on this side because uh, they can go you know back in around once you're down there however they did it I don't know that would be cool to go down there though behind the falls yeah somebody in white back in there wow I wonder how far back that goes how crazy is this if all this stone has held up but over the years, somehow the material out in this big bowl was softer that got eroded away. 
pretty crazy. I just read a plaque about this monument of this this Indian woman. Uh, there's a legend, okay? And those of you that want to do a little bit of Googling, I'm not going to... There's a pretty uh, lengthy plaque over here that's half shaded and hard, hard to read part of it. Um, and I'm not going to read all of it. But if you want to look that up, it's the legend of Makalulu? Makalula? I'm sorry. N-O-C-C-A-L-U-L-A. You can probably hit pause and maybe read some of this. It's fascinating. But the short of it is, what, uh, white settlers pushed one tribe north uh, to North Carolina or something uh, in the area of some other tribe. And some conflict went on and they traded. The one Indian chief traded his, um, offered his daughter as uh, to the other sub-chief or something as for peace. And, and she was so not in love and wanted, was in love with somebody of her own tribe uh, that she jumped to her death here. So there's that. The legend of Makalulu, Rula. How sad. But that's how love stories often go sometimes, right? how big these trees are from the bottom down there up here well beyond eye level oh there is a train at this park although this is chained and locked right now so it must be not drawing hours of operation but there's a, a train track that runs the whole way around through here so I came over here to the train station and um, it says pardon our progress new trains are on the way huh. doing a little bit of uh, upgrading I guess that's cool Don't look, don't look over there. Don't look over. Oh! It's having a good time and forgot about gas prices there for a little bit. And I seen a gas station over there across the street. That's a buzzkill. Oh, and here's a part of the park that has a little, uh, little miniature golf course over here. A couple of uh, water hazards. There's a there's water there. Another fountain. Water down there. There's another one off in there. Little bridges and water fountains. <laughs> What's this thing? What is that thing? What the? Oh, that is a sculpture made out of golf clubs. <laughs> wow. Crazy. I've noticed too the there's various log cabins and stuff scattered throughout the park and the trains run all through here and some other old I don't know old stuff <laughs> all right I'll share something personal uh, with y'all there's only probably a couple of you know this that's known me for a long time in my personal life um 20 years ago i, I used to have a drinking problem yep <laughs> 20 years ago i had my last drop 20, what, as of the recording day of the, as of today the date this was recorded 3 13 2022 it's been 20 years since my last drop and haven't had a drop since so, yep, that was 3-13-2002. So, go me, right? <laughs> I don't miss it a bit. Or some of the stuff that comes along with that sort of thing. <laughs> so. 
and then the time came to leave that wonderful campground and uh, we left Alabama and we made it through the northwest corner of Georgia and we're now closing in on Chattanooga Tennessee notice anything here look at all the green grass and oh, you can see all the green you know the bushes are uh, starting to get their green on it and it might be a stretch but uh, I don't know if you can see the hills out through the trees it's getting very Tennessee like better better she's chomping on a little bit of grass <laughs> she probably, probably missed that huh you find some grass to chomp on ready hey Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, go, 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 come on, have a little run, girl, stretch your legs, it's nice to be back in this part of the country, and uh, yeah, kind of out in the edge of the Appalachians, or Appalachian, Appalachian, or Appalachian, yep, green, 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 where are we going to end up today? I don't know yet. I don't know. I think we've left the land of seeing the $4.09 a gallon. Although we've been lucky. We haven't uh, had to buy any yet. I've just managed to get gas in places and areas where I've still not paid $4 plus yet. And I know it is $4 plus in much of the country. But I think it's coming because the, the signs along the road have been... For the longest time have been 409 409 but we got off on it and off on an exit and happened to find it for something a little less than four well when we got into tennessee maybe it was georgia uh, a little ways back along the interstate started seeing 429 429 again so yeah it's coming our next fill up i'd be surprised if we get it for less than four I think that's all over with now. Did you find a nice that now that is really nice and green, huh? She says, I just want to stand here and take it all in a little bit. It's kind of like home. Huh? Remember the big yard back at the garage? Huh? You ready to get back on the road? You ready to go? Huh? Come on. Hey, what was that? Hey, what was that? Come here. Come here, man. Look. Here, you want a stick? Huh? Gonna get a stick? Huh? Ready? <laughs> Come here. Ready? 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 Go get it. She's nah. I'll play later. <laughs> She's enjoying it. Come here, girl. Bella. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ready? Wanna try again? Wanna try? Nah. Come here. Come here. Come here. We have changed our route again. Uh, slightly. It's probably gonna be the longer way around. I'll probably end up using a little bit more gas than I would have. Uh, but I just want to avoid Interstate 77. That's almost, that's yeah, four and a half, five hours of a, just a lot of hills through uh, West Virginia. It's just, you know, it's a lot more, it's just a lot on gas, but it's just a lot of work on the bounder and up and down. It's just crazy. It's a long drive. We might go out and around up along Interstate 81, which will put us a little bit east of where we're headed and then have to cut back across the Appalachians anyway anyway but it's a, it's a little friendlier route uh, getting across the Appalachians up uh, once you're up into Pennsylvania interstate 70 and 76 <laughs> Bella's down there rolling in the grass she loves the grass and somebody asked again it comes up from time to time somebody asked uh, what kind of gas mileage uh, the bounder gets and uh, I I don't check it very often, but I did uh, just the other day. Uh, it's uh, 
it was a nice mix of driving. There was some highway driving, some in-town driving, some, you know, some through some hills or whatever. So it was a nice mix. A good, it was a good average and uh, got 6.6 .6 miles to a gallon. So that's not too, too bad for considering <laughs> a big old Class A, right? Uh, anyway, we're going to get on our way here. Better come. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She says, can't we just enjoy this just a little bit longer? Just a little bit longer. Come on. Let's get this back on. Come on. Let's get this thing back on. Okay. We're getting close to the parking lot. I don't know if you can tell that Bella likes the grassy um, area more than the desert, but I can. 